All right, guys. Um, normally, the, uh, they're showing you the SPY daily here. Pretty ugly um, push down, ugly day for the SPY. Big volume, one of the bigger red candles you see going way back, right? Um, normally, when the market has an ugly day, it might sound weird, and I'm a day trader, I don't hold overnight. Normally, it doesn't impact... Um, you know, my P&L, I, I can have, the market could do what it did today and I could have a really big day, right? It would, and only going long. Um, but today, that's not the case. Today, um, I took a couple early kind of red to green gappers, you know, get morning gap plays at uh, red to green um, that quickly failed. And then you see what the market did. Let me go to five minute candles here for this five. So we had the gap down. You know, so for the first 30 minutes or so, it, it held the gap down and started to run then kind of a double top and then fell apart. And I think that's because uh, Powell was speaking and God, God knows what he was saying. But um, so then I made the mistake of, you know, and then I'm nicely read and I made the mistake of, I shouldn't say mistake, but well, it was, um, you know, going to the strong stocks and playing pullbacks, right? Um, when the overall market is really weak, it's not a smart time to play an intraday pullback, even on a strong stock. It doesn't mean it can't work. I, I probably made 800 or so dollars um, on pullbacks on, on one particular stock today, um, but it didn't matter. I, I, had, I hit my daily loss limit today, and I walked away. And I, 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 that might seem irresponsible considering, um, you know, I'm the moderator of the chat room, and I didn't walk away to abandon anybody, and I hope nobody took it that way. I literally walked away, and you, you could even argue um, that I'm trying to lead by example. In other words, um, when you hit your daily loss limit, hopefully you have one in place, right? When you hit that, walking away is the best thing you can do. Because one, you're kind of rattled, so you're not in a great frame of mind. Um, two, added, added to that in today's case, the market was really weak anyway. Um, it's not the best environment mentally or today, the market as well to try to get back to even, as they say, right? Um, so recognizing that and walking away, to me, makes the most sense. This year, and I'm not proud of this, but this year, um, I bet you I've had 10 days this year where I broke my daily loss limit rule um, and had like uglier days than my daily loss limit. My daily loss limit doesn't phase me, and that's, that's what I had today, but um, I bet I've had 10 days this year where I at least... 50% more than my daily loss limit and, and double on some. Um, and and so because I've done that a lot this year, and I, I couldn't even tell you the reason why, but because I've done that a lot this year, walking away is even more important, right? Because I've broken that daily loss limit rule. Again, I don't know exactly, but I'm going to say 10 times this year. Um, being aware of that is what kind of forced me to walk away today because I didn't want to do it again, right? We've got one month left in the year. Um but for some reason, I've I've blown that. And I, honestly, the stupid reason, I think, if I had to assess it, um, is because I'm having a really good year. And so it's like, I, you know, 10 different times this year, I didn't want to accept, oh, I'm going to have my, I hit my daily loss limit. So I kept trading and it got worse, right? Um, I, I've, I've got a month to go and I, I, I've made more this year than I've ever made trading in a year. So I'm having a really good year. But at the same time, um, I've had some really ugly days and if you take all those ugly days out and just switched them to my daily loss limit, um, I would have be having a much, much better year, right? So I just want everyone to understand, that's why I walked away. I didn't want to let myself break my daily loss limit rule again. And if you're in front of your screens, you know how easy that is. Um, you're not supposed to ever feel desperate to get your money back, but you know we're, we're human. And so you're down on the day at your daily loss limit and you see a setup you're probably going to take it, right, to try to get some of your money back. <clears throat> and, then, and even then, you probably, you know, you get some profits uh, in paper trade, you know, in paper profits, I should say, and you don't take them because it's not enough, right, because it hasn't come near what you need to get your money back. Um, and so, you know, that's part of it, too. That's, again, just another example of why it's just always best to walk away when you hit your daily loss. I mean, all right, anyway, that's my little mini rant about my, my dumb self today. Um, and again, I haven't been on the mic because I'm feeling like crap. Uh, and I apologize for that too. I did take a, a second COVID test today. I took one, what, on Thanksgiving. So it's what, about four or five, six days, maybe five days. Um, and I, it's not COVID. So I don't know. I don't know if I have pneumonia or just this 
Uh, back in January, you guys remember, of 2020, I had this freaking cough that wouldn't go away for like a month. And I, I keep thinking I might have had COVID back then because nobody knew it was out yet. I might have I'd been at Disney that week. So if I was going to catch it um, from overseas, Disney was probably the right place to do it, right? Hang on. I got to pause this. All right. So anyway, I had a, just had a cough and attack there. So I was, you know, I was hoping to impart some, hopefully some uh, trading wisdom uh, to come out. You know, it could be one good thing to come out of my um, stupid day, but I really can't talk much more. So I'm going to go into the watch list for tomorrow. Just be aware. I think the Dow was down over 600 points maybe today. <clears throat> Certainly an ugly day, but uh, all right, I'm going to try to rip through these real quick. What am I watching for tomorrow? TOMZ goes on long watch. Pretty big move today. N-U-Z-E, kind of the same thing. L-I-T-M. After this big bounce yesterday, an inside day-to-day, -day, but a green day and an ugly tape, so I think that one's interesting. ATNF gapped up yesterday, sold off, and then right back up near that two-day high, um, which is also interesting because today the market was really ugly, right? Um, AUR had that big move back here. Finally, a nice bounce yesterday, and it, it, just like L-I-T-M, a nice inside day today. <clears throat> uh, AUR, let's see, what else? CPIX, CPIX, nice breakout today. We're going to see if it gives a follow-through setup. CNTX, very strong in a weak tape. LGVN, look at this intraday. Looks like right here it ripped and halted on some news. Continued after the halt, but then kind of rolled over. Anyway, it was on Bounce Watch <clears throat> coming into today. At least I think it was, which would have been a high of day break, which you couldn't have got, or maybe could have right out of the halt, maybe. But anyway, that one's going to go back on Bounce Watch. Um, MEIP, strong on a weekday. GRTS, same thing. SOPA, one of the uglier charts you'll ever see, but it stays on Bounce Watch. Um, even just as much as what five sessions ago, this was almost forty bucks. A E R C uh, IPO'd what four days ago, <laughs> and ran to one hundred seventeen thirty five. Now, should this have ever been at one hundred seventeen thirty five? I'm sure it shouldn't have, um, but that doesn't change the fact that today its range was a high of one hundred eight and four cents. All the way down to fourteen dollars and thirty-one cents before settling in at twenty-five. So um, this one, I'm actually putting on bounce watch. That is an unbelievable one-day sell-off. Maybe we we'll get a uh, a fraction back tomorrow if we get a proper setup. And then lastly, SEV, which came public, uh, an EV stock came public what a couple weeks ago, ripped, and it's been tanking ever since. I'm just going to put that on bounce watch as well. That's all I've got in this in this throat of mine. So I'm done babbling. I'll see you guys in the chat room in the morning.